Hey everybody, this is Anna again from Fly Nola Queen's Tarot. We are here again. Three days, y'all. I'm a great, great person and not staying really consistent with things that I need to. Spirit is challenging me to show up every day for y'all. So I'm showing up for y'all and I'm showing up for me. Like showing spirit that I could be trusted with this assignment. Like, <laughs> this is major. This is definitely major. All right, let's get into prayer. Let's get into prayer. On this beautiful Saturday, this Sabbath, this Saturn day. Saturn is all about discipline, about change. Passing the test. I'm just grateful, y'all. Just grateful to have a, a place to channel all of the energy that I have to transmute it. Because I'm definitely the magician. I'm the alchemist. So if it come in one way, I'm transmuting it to something that is beneficial for me. What was beneficial for me today, because I have a lot to offer, not allowing myself to get sucked into that continuous cycle. I'm not allowing myself to go to those depths anymore. That's discipline. Because where energy flows, that's your emotions. So if your thoughts are negative and you let those emotions follow that negative energy, what are you bringing back to yourself? Because it's yin-yang. Whatever we put out, we get back. So just because opportunities presents itself to us doesn't mean that we have to respond the way it was brought to us. That's a lot of shadow work there. That's definitely shadow work. Because we are taught to be quick responders. We just respond. I used to always say this, and I learned not to say this anymore. I'm going to give a person a piece of my mind Ask me, do I say that anymore? It costs too much. My peace, my sanity, it costs too much to give you anything. Especially concerning my mind and my thoughts. You can't run rent free in my mind, no sir, no ma'am. Access denied. Everybody cannot have access to me in this season. And I could not understand why so many people were getting cut off from my life. And I'm going to get into prayer. And I really wanted them to stay. I wanted them to be here with me on this journey. But I also pray that God show me who illuminate my path and show me who's supposed to be in my life. The people who I thought was going to be a part of my life, they're no longer a part. And I had to learn the, the gym and detachment, learning how to detach myself from people, places, and things. But I just thank God for giving me the wisdom and the understanding. Allowing the, the emotions to settle. Allowing the thoughts to be clear. I'm on my right path, y'all. It's time. Like, it's my time. I keep on saying it. It's my time. And it is. It's my time. It's your time. What I don't have time for no more, going back and forth with somebody. I ain't going to do it. Being a mediator between somebody and something they got going on, no. Maybe in the past, yeah. Now, no. Mm -mm. That's too costly. If it's costing my time, it's costing my energy. And my energy is everything. That's for me. And if I choose to give you something, that's a gift. Respect that. Because everybody can't have access to me. So we're going to get into prayer. I'm sorry for the rant, but today was an interesting day. But I want to just say I, I am more than a conqueror. 
victorious every day. I'm showing up every day, y'all. I made a commitment. No matter what, I'm coming. I'm showing up. If there's a word for me, there's a word for you. There's a word for me, so I know it's definitely a word for you. I pray that you like, share, and subscribe this video. Like, and something in this video touch your heart. Change your mind. Tap into that heart space to allow you to grow and blossom into whoever your destined path is calling for you to be. So with that, let's get into prayer. Divine ancestors, guiding spirits, angels of light, Holy Spirit, Mother God, Father God, creator of all, infinite universe, we gracefully come before you seeking clarity and, and guidance. With open hearts, we ask for the clearing of our minds and the illumination of our paths. Please lead us toward our authentic purpose and destined path, guiding us to the greatest good that awaits us. May your wisdom and love flow through this reading, connecting us to the higher truths that shape our journey. Thank you for your presence and your blessings. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. We thank you, universe. I ain't gonna let no man with no little red pitchfork, you know, say, oh, it's the devil, it's the devil, it's the devil. Hmm. He get too much power. I'm just saying, it's not like he, 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 like the biggest archetype, you know, you let people tell it. I'm the angel and I'm the devil. And I had to learn to accept that. It depends on how I'm operating in that yin yang yang energy. For spirit guides, ancestors, we ask you to give us clear messages on where we can improve, improve in our gratitude today and every day. Show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see. Show us spirit. We got inspiration. Days are unusual. Imagine yourself manually turning off your autopilot mode. Look around. This day has never existed before. Hmm. This is calling all of your energy to the moment right now. This is calling all of your attention, all of your emotions to the moment right now you can't change what happened in the past we don't know what's going to happen in the future but we have to appreciate what's going on right now because it never existed before and just be grateful for that just be grateful for the right now <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Thank you, universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's find inspiration in the book. We are so grateful. We are so grateful for this moment. Thank you, universe. We're grateful for this moment. We are definitely grateful. For the ability to be here in this moment. Mm -hmm. Let's find this. I'm going to overlook it. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. And I got to remember to speak up. <clears throat> I have to remember to speak up louder so you all can hear me. I'm just grateful. Can't stop saying it, man. Like, I used to find myself complaining about everything. Here we go. 
I don't do that as often as I used to. Still a work in progress. I ain't going to lie and say I'm perfect because I'm not. I am still a work in progress today. Gliding through life on an autopilot means living in your own head. Your body moves through the motions of daily life as if asleep. And in your mind, you are someplace else entirely. When you spend too much of your day or days in this mode, you become more and more out of touch with the blessings all around you that are accessible through your physical body. That which you can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. As an entry back into your physical self, take a few minutes right now for this quick exercise. Close your eyes. Rest your body and count your breaths. One, two, three. That centers you and brings you into the now. Thank you, universe. We thank you. Thank you. Feel like I'm in church. <laughs> Bring your attention to your skin and sense of touch. Scan your body from toes to crown. Look at you. I see you. <laughs> Where do you feel cool? Where do you feel hot? What aches? What feels strong? What does the air feel like on your face? How does your clothes feel against your skin? Now that you're back in your body, you done draw all your energy back to yourself. You here. You here with me now. As you move through the rest of your day, try to focus on your sense of touch and how the world around you actually feels. Today, make an effort to interact physically with your surroundings, hug and touch things, take up space and dance in a room where you're normally still. See how this shifts your mood. So I'm going to hug on me. Mm, I love me. Mm, I love you, girl. Like, love you. If I ain't tell you today, I love you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's leave this one out here and let's i made us some beautiful cards i did i did i did we're gonna get the overall energy from these spirit guys show us what we need to see what is the overall energy now these cards i, I did these around shadow work where can we improve like in, in different areas of our life where can we improve you know just to show us what we need to see. Okay, we had one that almost tried to come out. I'm just testing this out. So this is a beta test here. Just testing it out. Spirit guys, show us the overall energy. Where can we improve today? What's going to be the message for today? We got a few to turn over, but that's too many. Show us. Give us our overall energy. Ooh, these don't like to let me shuffle them a little bit I see a lot of people use these and I said what a great idea what a great idea they don't slide all that great but that's okay we're going to take dreams we're going to take dreams so dreams say, explore the symbolism in your dreams. Hmm. Are you dreaming, Virgo? You know, dreams, I used to hear the old people say that dreams are like little footnotes that allows us to remember where we go when we travel, when we sleep. Some people would say that they're warnings. You reverse a dream. But just being able to dream is a blessing. What are your dreams? Do you have any ambitions? Is there anything that you really want to work on? 
Is there something you've been holding off on? Imagine yourself accomplishing those dreams. What would it look like? <laughs> it's time. It's time for these dreams to be fulfilled. The procrastinator. Now, this is definitely me. Avoid, address avoidance and delay tactics. That's definitely for me. I'm definitely a procrastinator. I've had this channel for two years, and this is just my fifth video. Procrastination. I let things come in, and I'm human. I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress. I'm definitely a work in progress. Like, I'm going to allow the universe to use me to bring forth whatever I need to bring forth to bring these dreams into fruition. It's time to dream. It's time to dream. What else could we work on? What else can we work on, Spirit? What else can we work on? This is good. I don't want to be like the pastors and give you feel-good messages every day. I want to give us opportunities to grow. The next one is unity. Recognize the interconnectedness of all beings. We are all connected. Whether we realize it or not, we're in a multiverse. All of our thoughts, all of our actions are all connected. Hmm. Something big. It's bigger than us. There's a greater calling. It's bigger than us. We are all un unified. Hmm. That higher your awareness is tapping in. That higher yourself. We all, when you can rise above all the mundane things, the conflict, the quarreling, all that, you really arrive. I just saw a card that caught my eye. But Spirit, what do you have for us today? Show us what we need to see. So we got dreams. So I get that, you know, if you are procrastinating, you're killing your dreams. If you're not getting up showing up for yourself every day, you're killing your own dreams. You sabotaging yourself. The next card out was fear. Confront irrational fear and phobias. Now, what do they say fear stands for? It's not real. It's the illusion that feels real. That we tell ourselves that's real. It's not real. But in our mind, we done built up a whole case. And we done came up with the worst case scenario. Now our feelings are there and we're activating it. We're manifesting this thing. So it's time for us to clean up our act. Imagine yourself turning off this autopilot of negative thoughts, negative thinking. We're turning all that off. And we're going to unify our lower self with our higher self. So we can reach our destined path. This fear and this procrastination is going to stop us from getting where we need to go. And this is for me too. That's why I'm showing up every day. Consistently, every day, I have to be here. I got to show up. I got to show up. All right, so let's get... Hmm... Let's get a numerology card. Let's get a numerology card. So we need to clear up any misconstrued ideas of fear and procrastination so we can bring these dreams to fruition and be in the now 
live in the now. It's hard to live in the now because we know what happened in the past and we worry, create anxiety for what we don't know what's going to happen in the future. Let's stay in the now. Let's stay in the now. Universe have so much in store for us. You know, I keep on going back to Jeremiah 29 and 11 that God has a a destined path for me and you to prosper us and not to harm us. I believe that wholeheartedly. What kind of person would create me just for my demise? I don't believe it for one second that my creator, if I'm created in, in my creator's image, created me for me to suffer. Created me to allow me to continuously go through the same thing. I choose those things. Not spirit, me. Because it takes me to self-identify with the self-sabotaging thinking that I have, those patterns. That's why that autopilot got to come off. That was the first card. Reflection. Turn that autopilot off. The, the way you used to respond to things, stop. Think. Take a moment. Come to the now. Think. Where did it get you when you responded that way in the past? Did it trigger anger? Did it get you the results that you wanted? Probably not. I know for me it didn't. I'm allowing my higher self to unite with my lower self. And we tapping in to that universal power and strength that's bigger than me. I need that. I desire that. I'm going to have that. So we got effort. Number 13. We got effort. This card indicates a time when extra effort is required to overcome your current obstacles and challenges. As you are now being tested and your attitude is key, rather than surrender to self-pity, laziness, negativity, or frustration, you must utilize your inner power. For you are stronger than you think. When the going gets tough, the tough must get going. So pull yourself together and have the faith in your success. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to call upon your inner and outer resources to achieve the outcome you desire. Rather than a succumb to quick fix solutions, shortcuts, or manipulation, you must plan, focus, and act with the tenacity and drive. Right now. With efforts and determination, you will break through all restrictions that are presently holding you back. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that require you to put extra effort into overcoming your challenges. Never, ever give up. And your success is guaranteed. My name is Anna and I approve this message. You don't give up on you. <laughs> Your success is guaranteed. I guarantee you it's coming. Successful people have something in common. They never stop. No matter how many times they fail, no matter how many times they have to start over, they never give up. So what's going to be the title for this one today? I think navigating change because that's what I heard throughout this change change the way that you're thinking change that autopilot you know our subconscious mind is just like you know if you realize we don't even think about moving our hands that's on autopilot we don't think about walking that's on autopilot we don't have to think oh let me move one foot in front of the other we do that automatically i don't have to think to move my hand it goes automatically our responses to situation is automatic changing that so today's title is going to be navigating change virgos 
journey toward forward motion. I like it. Change is good and it's necessary. It's necessary. So let's get in this tarot. I love this, y'all. Like, <laughs> I got a friend. And I was doing readings on her and a couple of her friends. And, I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful thing, you know, to have a gift and to allow the universe to use your gifts to help others. It's a beautiful thing. And I'm just so grateful to be allowed to be a part of this journey. Let's get this Palo Santo going. Thank you, Spirit. We can't let fear and procrastination kill our dreams. We can't. We got to turn that autopilot off and start being in the now. Start being in the now. I told you I always have something burning. And y'all notice today I didn't say, oh, that's my favorite deck. I just love this deck. We gonna get. I got my favorite deck sitting here though. We gonna get to it. Spirit guys, show us what we need to see concerning this reading on today. Show us, spirit, what we need to see today. I got my little deal out today. We can protect the energy. This reading, I really wish I was a fancy card shuffler. The universe says, Show up, <laughs> show up, show up as you are. <laughs> so, I'm showing up, I'm being obedient, and I'm showing up. Hmm, the first card out is the hangman. Hmm, interesting. Then, the next two cards, there's a lot of fighting. <clears throat> But the King of Pentacles is here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm going to give me some water. And I got some. Hold on for one second. All right. And I'm back. Go we'll grab me. Some water real quick. Felt a little parched. I wish y'all could see me, but that's all right. Y'all could see my hands. What else do you have for a spirit? Okay. So we got two major arcanas out here. Hmm. What else do you have for a spirit? We'll take it. Anything else? Hmm. Okay. Three major arcanas now. Mm-hmm. Any other messages you have for us, Spirit? Okay, we got Judgment in reverse. And we got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Anything else you have for us today, Spirit? Okay, let's see. We got the Emperor. We got the High Priestess. Oh. Oh. We got Debt. And the Queen of Wands. We're going to take them all. Now, let's go through these and see. Then we got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, the first card came out is the Hangman. And the hangman represents, you know, delays and standstills, feeling stuck, lack of control. I can speak to this card in a situation that I encountered on yesterday. You know, when you plan on doing something and your intentions are there and then they don't go necessarily as planned, you know, oftentimes we may get discouraged and you may feel stuck. And that's okay as just long as your intentions were good. It's okay. It's a lot. It was a lot of conflict that was surrounding that that whole situation, and I decided for me not to be a part of it. I had to get myself together and not respond how I normally respond. And the next card is the King of Pentacles. If I want to secure my finances. 
perspective, I want to secure stability in my life. If you want to secure stability in your life, you are not going to be able to act the way that you used to act. You are not going to be able to respond the way you used to respond. It is a requirement for you to do something different. It is a requirement for you to raise the standard of how you respond to things if you want to access, tap into this into this abundance. And then here's temperance. Moderation. It is calling for balance in this situation, patience, being sensible. And finding the meaning of things. Because, see, I could have responded to the situation how I used to respond. And I probably could have ended up in a bad situation. You heard me like, <laughs> I could have been in a bad situation. But I said, I want my happiness. So here's the Ten of Cups. I want, I need this. I'm going to have this. I am going to have my wish fulfilled. Everything that I want is coming into fruition. Because I'm putting old things away. I am not responding to situ situations may never change, but I am. I'm changing how I respond to these things now. I am changing how I'm reacting to these things now. It's a test. Today's Saturday. It's a test today. You know, Saturn is all about patience and discipline. If you want something bad enough, you'll be disciplined for it. And I'm disciplined. I'm going to have my wishes fulfilled. I'm going to have this contentment. I'm going to have all the love and support I need. I'm going to have blissful relationships. I'm having the harmony and the divine love. And my dreams is coming true. This card means dreams coming true. I'm going to have my ten of cups. They're going to be filled up, overflowing in my life. How about y'all? Then the next card that came out, it was the devil. People get, you know, really worked up when they see this card. I don't necessarily. Because when the devil show up, it just lets me know that there's some more work that needs to be done. Again, one of my, the tarot readers that I follow, she used the pencil. So did I. So I covered them both up. I gave her a little two-piece. I ain't putting no tattoos on her. And I gave him a, like a Bam Bam outfit off the Flintstones. <laughs> Uh, this just means like, you know, your shadow self is coming up, you know, attachments, temptations. I was tempted. I was tempted to go in the same patterns that I used to go. Go back to the same places, things, and behaviors that I used to, to coincide with, that I used to live with, that I used to be comfortable with. Universe said, no, if you keep on responding the same thing, the same way you've always responded, you're going to get the same thing that you always got. I ain't insane no more. I used to be. I was definitely insane. The next card was the page. It's the page of swords. Page of, of wands. I'm sorry. I don't know why I want to say swords. Wands. This is inspiration. I am inspired by my own growth. By my own accountability to keep moving forward. That's why the name of this reading is Navigating Change. Change is not easy. It's going to require a sacrifice. I sacrificed my anger because I normally pop off. I normally engage. I normally defend. I deflect. And I get all in my emotions. I said today I had work to do. I had to go to work, and I had to show up for this time with you guys. This means so much to me. I had to show up here for you all, for me. I had to show up for our time. If I would have engaged in that situation the way I used to on autopilot, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I'd probably be, yay. Yeah. Doing something totally different, but thank, thank the universe for change. So then we have the judgment card. The judgment card is in reverse. And the judgment card in reverse just means self-doubt, lack of self-awareness, inner critic, punishment, destruction, and ignoring the call. 
I decided that I had to stop. I had to stop doing what I normally do. And this card paired with the page of wands that's in front of it. If I, in the devil, I'll take all three of these together. If I allow my lower self to dictate to the new inspiration that I have, there's going to be self-doubt. That's the only outcome. And what I want, I, I need this Ten of Cups. I'm going to have this Ten of Cups. This is mine. This is yours. I got to have this. This is my birthright. This is your birthright. Not struggle, not pain, not lack. This is your birthright, and this is mine. I'm going to have what whatever my creator wants me to have, and I just do not believe that that is strife and lack and and going through. I don't believe it. I believe in that my wishes is going to be fulfilled. Everything that I desire is coming to fruition. Everything. The next card that came out is the Queen of Wands because I'm courageous. Definitely standing in my power. I'm courageous. Then it's the debt to the old me. This is the debt card. Now this is the one, two, three, four, five major arcanas out of 22. People get upset when they see this debt card. I don't. Because after every debt is a rebirth. That old person I used to be, that person had to die. She no longer lives. She's not here anymore. Yeah, that person they were summoning was calling. Yeah. She was in her grave. I thought about going to exhume the body, but I was like, nah, I'm going to let her be. I'm going to let her rest in peace. Yeah, she had to die. <laughs> and here's the high priestess again. So now that six major arcanas, spirit is definitely calling us to be aware of what's going on around us with this change. Things are being shaken up. And the people that you thought was going to be able to take this ride with you or they were going to be in your life forever... No, man, they, they had to go. Here she is showing up in her power. Intuition. Intuition. My intuition is heightening at this time. I ain't fighting no more. If circumstances reveal themselves and it's like, okay, well, another one bites the dust. Here's the emperor. I love this card. You know, you know who the emperor is. He the boss. You know, he leadership. He stability. Structure. You know, protection. I am protected. I am disciplined. Then we have the, the knight of pentacles in the reverse. You know, without discipline, you're going to feel stuck. Without discipline, you're going to feel like something is missing in your life. Yeah, without all these things, yeah, you're going to feel like you done fell off. Of course. But that's what I need. That's what I That's what I want. That's what I'm going to have. This change is coming. And it's coming to bring forth all of the sacrifices that I'm making. To get this wish fulfilled, this completion, this celebration, this happiness. I'm 40. I've been singing a lot of pain. I could write uh, several books on it. I could be a commentator on, on, on a whole reality show talking about it. I never get tired. It's time to live now. Live with purpose. Move into your progress. Let's keep this momentum going. We ain't let nothing stop us. Nothing stop us. We're unstop we're an unstoppable force. United, we're an unstoppable force. Let's get a what are we gonna get today? Mm, spirit, what are we gonna use today? Hold up, y'all. Let's see. Hmm. We can Let's get these soul journeys. 
let's see. I ain't got no excuse to act the way I used to act. There's no discipline in that. Oh, that person did me this. Oh, that person did me that. That person made me act. Mm -mm. It's self-accountability. I choose the way I respond. I'm not a dog. I'm not an animal. Just because you do that don't mean I have to respond that way. I see you for who you are now. I understand your purpose that was in my life. Your purpose in my life was to show me me. And I thank you for that. Thank you for illuminating my path. Thank you. Thank you for helping me find my divine purpose. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. You would never even know because if it wasn't for the trials and tribulations I had been through, I'd still be comfortable in that state that I was in. I thank you for pushing me. I thank you for walking out on me. I thank you for giving up on me. I thank you for talking about me behind my back. I thank you for wishing the worst for me. I thank you for hoping that I didn't eat. I hoping I thank you. For all these things, because because you felt that way toward me, it really opened my eyes on what I needed to see. So we got two cards here. We got the great serving, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. I love when spirit do this, because I was just talking about this. I could have responded with anger. Spirit said, no. Let's take it higher. We operating in love. Now, come on. I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. I'm all love and light. I told you I'm the angel and I'm the devil. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still a work in progress. I promise you. I ain't perfect. But today I didn't choose anchor. And I am in so much peace. And I'm so grateful. Because, you know, anger is such a... It, you manifest a lot in different emotions. And we, when we manifest in anger, we manifest everything that we don't want. And I've realized that it's something more that I want. More for me. That anger has to go. I, I was going to exhume her body today. I said, Lord, let me let her rest. Let me let her rest. <laughs> and here's spirit telling you you're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. Thank you all for being my soul tribe. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for liking. Thank you all for commenting. Thank you all for being here with me. Like... This ain't no normal tarot card channel that's just going to tell you, you know, what you want to hear. We need to grow. We need to take self-accountability for us, for ourselves. For every action that we take, for every auto response that we have, we need to do self-reflections and real shadow work. That's going to really give us that real change that we seek and that we desire. If we keep on responding to things the way that we used to respond to things, then we're going to get the same thing that we've always got. You know, the first step to recovery is acceptance. Accepting that you have a problem. I've accepted that I have a problem. You know what my problem is? I like to pop off. And people like to say, oh, that's Anna. That's how she is. Acting a damn fool. People got me so figured out. <laughs> they thought they did. They thought they had me figured out. They surely thought that they had me in a, in a, in a trick bag. 
And I was going to respond the way I normally respond to get me what I've always got. I want more. I am going to have this. So navigating change today, Virgo. Cross watchers. Anybody. This message could resonate with you whether you're a Virgo or not. Change is required. You have to sacrifice if you want more, if you want better. Navigating change. That's going to be the title of this message today. It has to be change. It has to be change. If it's going to be forward motion, it has to be change. It got to be. Anything less is just wishful thinking. I'm going to get us a closing message, y'all, because we've been on here today. We've been talking today. We're going to use the universe has your back and get us a closing message. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I'll be forgetting to say like, share, comment, and subscribe. They had a lady yesterday was asking for information, and I don't think I'm ready to do that just yet. When spirit guides me there, then I will. Not offering any personal readings right now. We here just getting a feel of things. We are here getting a feel of things. This is such a channel for me. You know how you put your channel on the TV and you get certain things. This is a channel for me to express myself. I'm the alchemist. I'm the magician. It's going to require a sacrifice from you and taking accountability for your fear, for your procrastination to allow your dreams to manifest. Step into the now. Step into the now. Here we go. Can y'all see? My energy creates my reality. I love when spirit does this. Like, I could be crying right now because it all comes together. What I focus on is what I will manifest. I could have been having this time with y'all and saying, look, I just, I just got bonded out. I wasn't here with y'all today because I just got binded out. I, I need, I want, I am, I am going to have everything that I want. I'm rejecting like, I'm rejecting that autopilot of me responding to things the way I used to. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Think about that, y'all. Take accountability. Because, see, if you keep on saying, I used to always find myself saying, oh, that person made me do this. That person made me act like this. Oh, so that person had more control over you than yourself? Is that what you're saying? They thought they had me. <laughs> I know you're disappointed I know you're upset But don't be mad Just grow with me <laughs> Embrace this new me Cause she ain't going nowhere That old person in the grave She ain't dead now Let's not forget that She's not dead She's laying there dormant But I'm in the present. I'm in the now. And I'm a work in progress. And every day I'm going to get up and I'm going to choose my day. I'm going to choose myself. And if that's all you can do is choose yourself today. I chose to keep my mind. I chose to keep my thoughts and my energy and my emotions. Because I realized that my energy creates my reality. What I focus on, I will manifest. What am I focusing on? I'm focusing on growth. I'm focusing on expansion. 
I am focusing on forward movement. I got the name of it. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo, navigating change, forward movement. It's time to take accountability for you. Because it's a weak excuse to say somebody made you do something. Ain't nobody make me do nothing. I did it because I want the egg out and it felt good when I was doing it. Did it give me what I want? No, so I had to stop. Mm. <sighs> that's that big girl talking now. That's that, that's that accountable person talking now. So until tomorrow, because I'm going to be here every day. I'm, I'm showing up every day. And I thank y'all for spending this time with me. I love y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe this message. If it resonated with you, comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you like our new cards. I like them. I like them a lot. Y'all know what this I say today. Oh, I love this deck. That's my favorite deck. But that's all right. We got the message. It was here. It was clear. Spirit showed up and confirmed. And we just thank you. So I hope y'all have a great, great Sabbath. Enjoy y'all Saturn day on this Saturday. Spend some time in meditation. Spend some time sacrificing the things you used to do for the things that you want. And until next time, until tomorrow, I'll see y'all later. Ashe.